my story, I, my story would take a long, long time to give you all the details, but I did not grow up religious. It was something that I, you know, sort of took on along the way. And I want to stress very much that it's not, it's not a destination, but it's a journey, which is how everyone should be. So, you know, life is not about, um, life, life is not about where you're at. Life is about which direction you're heading, right? Okay, I think that's, that's the most important thing. So I think everyone in this room, just by virtue of your being here, and say, look, I'm, I, I took a step forward, I'm taking a step forward, and that's the most important thing, right? That's really what, you know, what, what life is about, what Judaism is about. So you should feel very good about that. And, and I would say to continue, there's so many ways to continue moving forward, to continue taking steps forward. You know, my big, um, my big, you know, um, thrust or whatever is always building towards. And I feel that there's nothing that, that builds a person up, there's nothing that, that you know, that there's no, nothing that gives it more light and more energy to, to one's existence than learning Torah. And so, and you see that, by the way, you see in practice, um, for those, I don't know if any of you have um, have been over to um, to the Kola, which is um, this house in the, in the Young Israel building, but the, the growth of the community is astronomical. Absolutely astronomical. So you see in practice, and, you know, and, and often people will, they'll compliment me, they'll say, Andy, why wow, you had such a big vision? And I say, that's not true. I didn't have any vision at all. I really didn't. I just said, build Torah. That's it. That was the whole vision. Just build Torah and you see what happens. And that's exactly what's happened. Okay, so we, you know, with, with that, we have young families moving in. My own children move back to the community, you know, so there's, you know, there's, there's a whole strata of, like, you know, different ages and that sort of stuff. And, like, there's a vibrancy and there's, like, you know, and you can look back and, like, you know, when we moved, the young Israel had, you know, one daily shopping menu at 6.15, so I, I joke to people, if you woke up at 6.20, you have to dive on your own. And like now, you know, I think we have four daily minyanim. We have, you know, there's several mincha minions, there's, there's Mari, there's, you know, on Shabbos, we have four different minions. Like, there's life and vibrancy there all the time. Because it's so, the formula is so simple. It's, so, it's nothing more than this. Just learn Torah. Just build Torah, learn Torah. You'll see what comes from that. So that's, you know, that's that really, I, 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 you don't have to look any further than that. But okay, having given you that little introduction, I'm happy to talk more, say more, whatever. But so I'll just, I, you know, I, I pulled out, you know, Rabbi Jack and said, okay, come give a little bit of a sample of one of the Kirky Avos shears. I think probably most people, I think at some point, have hopefully, you know, cracked open a, a Kirky Avos. It's, it's sort of, you know, ethics of the fathers. It's a very sort of like, you know, um, what, and what's amazing about all of Torah and certainly true about Kirky Avos as well is that, like, you know, if, Learning it once is, is, is not even remotely enough. You know, like, you know, there's a saying that if you learn something a hundred times, it's not the same as learning it a hundred one, right? You know, they're great, right? okay? And that's certainly true by Perk Yahweh. So I've been, you know, giving this, this class, you know, weekly for 15 years, and I, I, I still look forward to the day when I actually, you know, understand Perk Yahweh. So <laughs> like, you know, I really have that. So, you know, the, the, you know but I'll, I'll do my best to, like, give you a little bit that I know, and we'll, you know, we'll go from there. So I, I picked up, you know, one of my favorite perky owls, actually. Do you, do you have a perky owl? No, sure. Do you have a sitter? It's in the sitter. The sitter one? Yeah, well, I just want to, I want to quote the Mishnah inside because I have my notes and they're all in English. Um, this is a, it's a Mishnah from the, from the first parak of a perky owl. So, again, perky owls, get an English copy, read it. Like, the wisdom there is just, like, I promise, like, no matter how many times you go over it, there's more and more and more wisdom there. Okay, and it's, you know, okay. And Kirk um, was divided into six, cracking like six different chapters, okay? Um, it happens to be, that, by the way, the sixth one was added, it wasn't originally part of Kirk Yavis, but that's all about what they call king in the Torah. So it's all about like the requiring Torah and that sort of stuff. So some of my favorite wishes are in that sixth parrot. But then I brought, I brought notes from one of those, and I also brought one from, from the first parrot. Okay, so I'll, I'll, whatever, again, you can, you can open up any, any mission that you want there, there's something beautiful to it. Okay, I'll, I, I happen to be one of my favorite ones, is uh, the 14th mission in the first paragraph, okay? So it says, he used to say, so he is Hillel, okay? He used to say, what did he say? He says, im ein ani li, me li, right? If I'm not for myself, so who, 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 who's going to be for me? That's the first, it's a three-part thing, okay? You probably heard this, this mission, by the way, and if you're, if, if this, you know, if you, I, I'd be more than happy to talk about a different mission, but well, this, this is a good one, okay? This is a good one, okay? He may not be me, 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 right? If I'm not for myself, who's going to be for me? That's one. Okay, if I'm only for myself, whatever. whatever. Right? Yeah. And, third, and the third part is, if not now, wait, wait. Okay? So this is just the most, you know, basic, you know, basic advice. And I hear this, people saying along with me, obviously, you know, you've come across this issue before. And right, okay, and 
Listen, I'm happy to do a different mission. I want to do a different mission. Like, yeah, you know, you so so the point is, the the point point is you'll see. Okay, I'll give you some. You know, like by the way, I do have one of the things that, 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 that again about Kurt Cal is that you can go there so many times. So I have a stack. You know, fill those because I usually when I bring the chair on Monday, so I, I bring my stack. The sorry, I have about a stack about twenty different sorry that I go through. And you know, each time you know, we, we go through the cycle of Kurt Cal, and each time I try to add a few. It's fine, and so like that. There's, you know, it never ends. It never ends. It never ends. Okay. But okay, so this happens to be one of my favorite issues from Bernie Adams. Okay. So let's talk about it a little bit, right? Okay. Again, there's three parts, right? If I'm not, basically, you got to stand up for yourself, right? You know, if we get the right, then we'll, we'll, we'll go into details. But there's certain things that nobody's going to be able to do for you, <clears> right? Okay. Nobody can wake you and get you out of bed in the morning, right? You want to be a lazy bum, staying in bed all day. No, that, you, you can you can do that, right? Okay, but hopefully not. Hopefully you want to get up, you want to 